Hey, welcome back to Proco. Last time, we learned the basic anatomical stuff and the motion of the shoulder muscles. And we identified and understood the muscles on a model. Great, but now let's focus on why we're here. How to draw the shoulder muscles. Infraspinatus. The infraspinatus is flat and simple. It has a convex form, like all muscles do, but the convexity is usually subtle like a fluffy pancake. It'll appear as a recessed plane, since the surrounding muscles bulge out. However, when the infraspinatus is active and really developed, it can also bulge out. You might see the infraspinatus split into two bumps. In this photo, it's split down the middle. But this split can be confusing. In this photo, this is the large shape of the infraspinatus. The split takes a curved, more vertical path. Not what you'd expect. Let's move on to the teres minor. Like I said before, the teres minor isn't always visible. On the surface, it can appear as a continuation of the infraspinatus or a depression since the infraspinatus and teres major travel above it. But when you do see it on an ultra ripped super being, remember, Terrace means cylindrical, and that's exactly its form. Terrace major. The terrace major is also a cylindrical muscle, but it's much larger. The terrace major is visible on most people, even thin women. That's why it's such a great landmark. It's the bump on the outer contour of the back near the armpit. When the arms are at rest, the infraspinatus and terrace minor stay flat but the teres major is squashed and stands out. When the arms are raised, the teres major is stretched, so the cylinder gets thinner. Its form becomes less visible, but the double curve of the back becomes clearer. What is that, you ask? Well, the latissimus dorsi dominates the contour of the back with its strong upwards angle, but the teres major cuts across the latissimus to get to its insertion. This creates a double curve. The latissimus has the longer, more vertical angle, and the teres major is that short, more horizontal angle near the armpit. If you remember only one muscle today, make it the teres major. It's visible on nearly everybody, and it's helpful for locating other muscles. Thank you, teres major. Serratus anterior. The serratus anterior makes a fan-like shape as it reaches out from behind the scapula to wrap around the ribcage. The attachments to the ribs follow an arc somewhat parallel to the skeletal arch. It's largely covered up by the pectoralis major in the top front and the latissimus dorsi in the back. Usually, only the tips of the lowest four digits are subcutaneous progressively getting smaller as they attach closer to the lats. Individually, each digit has a cylindrical form, and that's clearest where they interlock with the external oblique digits. The serratus digits are more horizontal and rounder than their oblique neighbors. So there will be instances where you'll see the serratus as the oblique digits stay flat. On the back, the latissimus dorsi completely overlaps the serratus. But sometimes, the volume of the serratus is thick enough to push out and be visible anyway. If so, the serratus will appear as a large round form arcing from the bottom of the scapula to the flank of the oblique. So when the lat is flexed, we'll see the cylindrical form of the lat. When the lat is relaxed, we'll see the serratus. Assignment. Invent the back muscles. Draw the ribcage, scapula, and humerus as simple forms, then add the shoulder muscles. Try out different poses and angles. If inventing is a bit too challenging for you, start by using photo reference or the Skelly app, and ease into invention. You can get the Skelly app at proko.com slash Skelly app. I also have model photos available at proko.com slash poses. You can get a free model sampler pack 
in the description below. Inventing the shoulder muscles. To watch me demonstrate how to invent the shoulder muscles, go to proco.com slash anatomy. So we have a premium section for students that want to learn more. The premium section has extended lessons with more information about the topic. It also has additional drawing demonstrations. If you do the assignments for each lesson, these demonstrations serve as the answers for the assignment, so you can check your work. There's an ebook version of each lesson that you can download as a PDF. Print them out or keep them on your device so you can quickly review the lessons. And finally, the premium section has 3D models that you can spin around, study, and draw from any angle. If you don't want your drawings to look like this, go to proco.com slash anatomy. If you like this video, don't be all selfish. Share it with your friends. And if you want to be updated about new videos, click this button or go to proco.com slash subscribe.